Hello, hello. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we are back to work some more. <coughs> Excuse me. On our countryside uh, 49 and Market paper, it is a file folder journal, and it is nearing the end of the creation of the journal but not the ephemera. We've added a few things as we go. <coughs> Excuse me. But we need to add a few more things. I did have to, I went ahead and applied this um, piece here, but I did have to put in some washi tape. Um, envelopes and hinging, it just makes the the fibers of the paper too weak. So let's go ahead and we're going to apply this here. But I can tell already it's going to have to have something that closes it. You know, it's it's got to have a got to have something. So we can either put something up here. Or we can put something right in the middle. Ooh, you know, maybe, maybe we could add a tab. Let's see. Let me get a well tell tab. I'm just trying something. Start my timer. Maybe we could put a tab on here. Like so. And then we could attach a little string up here to wrap around. Or it could wrap around right here. That would be okay. Um, we could make something over here that would attach to here. That would be okay. Um, let's find our string we're using for this one. should it go from here to there from here to there or from here to there I kind of like the angle <coughs> um, I think we'll make it about I don't know this long plus some to go over the back of this or we'll make a little hole through it hmm oh so many fun things we could do let's take this and apply this to it or we'll apply this to that so we're using the same kind of, stop, get off me. <laughs> so it matches this. Let's go this way. Really don't know which is the way I want to go. Definitely not. Use the long scissors for me. 
everybody kind of has their preferences, but I really like the long ones for me. Um, that washi tape over there with the other washi tape. <coughs> Boy, I'm sorry about my voice. It's just not with me this afternoon. <laughs> this is one of those afternoons I have to keep coming back in here and working on this. Well, it's one of those days where I, I have so many things on my mind with it now that... Um, A second, let me get around the curves. There we go. Gonna trim that up just a little bit right there. Okay. Kind of a long way to go around a well tail tab, isn't it? Hope it looks good on the other side when we get there. That'll do. Okay, let me throw those little bitty pieces away. I better put my needle back in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness, I am so sorry. Okay, we'll fold our well tail tab. And we better go around it. So, welcome new subscribers. Welcome my regular subscribers so good to have you all here with me oh, this has been quite a project hasn't it I don't know how many videos it's going to run I um, so far haven't loaded any I have loaded several into my computer this is going to go here just like that um, going to have a little eyelet or something here. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> we can do eyelet or we can do a something else. No, if I have a black one. We can do an eyelid or a brad. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Don't think I see what I want in there. Um Here a little further. Okay. Now, we do have these really cool number ones. Like here's a number 12. What are these? Oh, I love these. The little black ones. I think we'll use those. At least on here we will right there and then that one might go right up there 
What could we put with it, though? Um, they're nice and flat. That's one reason I like these. I have a lot of really great ones. Now, here's an owl that could be up here. That would be good. You know, not over here probably because of chicken. Not, not, won't work. Here is just a pretty, what's this one? Little butterfly. We don't want a square one, that won't work. So what we're going to do is we need to find something that we can put up here and put this little brad through. Um, let me get rid of some stuff over here. Here's a little book we started in the very beginning and I immediately switched gears on you. Oh. oh, here's this. I love that. I wondered where that went to. Okay, so I'm not really finding what I want. Um, no, I'm not. Let's see. How do we want to do this? I think what we'll do I don't like that because it runs right through his nose <clears throat> that's gonna go right about there I think what we'll do is put a hole in here and run this through and then maybe what we'll do is have this button there just like that. Let's do it. Let's find out what happens. You know, that's the best way to, to find out is to go forth and do. Okay, so I'm going to take that off for a second. I'm going to put this right up here. And since it's red, I think maybe we should find a little another little red heart to go in there. Sound good to you? Okay. So we're going to punch a hole right through there with our uh, our owl, 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 <laughs> not our owl, our owl. You say owl and I say owl. See, little red heart in there, in that button. <laughs> I think that will work. Okay, we're going to try it. I don't know. Um, here. There we go. String. She threw the string somewhere. But we never know where she throws things. But when the garden blooms, she blooms too. Okay, we're gonna run that through there maybe. It's a very tiny hole. Gonna angle cut it. 
so there's just a little sharp angle on it and then we'll do it okay so let's flip this over and right back here we are going to put a piece of tape on that like this then I'm going to peel that off and I'm going to run this back up here on the top of the tape I'm going to give it another little piece of tape And I'm going to do this one more time, right there, and one last piece of tape, sorry if you can hear the dog howling, it's not my dog, I don't let my leave my dog out to howl or bark or anything, she comes in, she's She's a well-loved and take well taken care of puppy. Okay, I'm just going to set this on this plastic for right this second because I want to take this and glue it down before I put the brad in it. Right about there. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and stick the little heart brad through it. Oh, sorry if I'm off camera. Oh, I hope this will fit. Yeah, it will. There we go. My camera, for some reason, my pole has gotten loose that my camera is attached to. And because of that, everything keeps slipping so I get further and further away from you all the time and then I tend to get out of frame totally after that so got to get my strong arms on so I can tighten that up Well, you can really see the glue on this paper, huh? Okay. Probably didn't need that much glue. Ooh, glue. up until I ask you to please <laughs> okay Oops, sorry about that I need to grab a couple of bulldog clips these aren't very bulldoggy are they Or more like 
friendly dog clips. Um. Oh no! Take that out of there. <laughs> we don't want that string under there. Since I didn't get that pushed down right away, I might have to put a little more glue under there. Try and push it around a little bit. See if that folds up good. Okay, it does. Okay, now we're going to want to put this on here. I think we'll put it with the yellow flowers up front. Now, um, I think what we'll do is um, I think this is going to be our um, thing that we wrap around. I think we're going to wrap right around that. So I want to put it do I? I want to put it right there. That about centered. I really think that we will just put it through one side. I'll cover up that other side. Push it through. But we want to leave just a little bit of space there for that string to wrap around. I don't want to leave a whole lot. Can you see this? I think that'll be enough. There's just a little bit of space little tiny bit of space so it could be even more than that even less than that I mean okay now I better oh we'll probably just glue this down is what we'll do okay and this will glue onto here like that looks like a little purse or something doesn't it I'm going to use the fabri tac because of this fabricy type of surface that I'm working with. I'm going to put a little glue in there so it'll go right through and hopefully into the back of the pin. And I'm going to apply it good on the brad itself. And I guess we're going to apply it. Oh, not there. Maybe right about there. That looks about center. Okay. So, something bigger than those small ones. These are a little heavier duty. Watch, this one will fall apart now. 
Okay, let's leave those to dry. And we have this that we're going to wrap right around there. But let's wait till it's dry. Okay, now in this kit there are pieces of fencing and there's flowers. So I want to utilize some of this stuff right now on this part. I'm not going to ink this up and everything because it's so um, delicate. I don't think it'll be behind the fence anyway, but but I don't think that it will. You'll really be able to tell that it's um, not inked. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Now let's find another one. Okay. Um, we do have some stickers we could throw in there if we want. Those are like uh, hazel, aren't they? They can look like hazel. Um, I know I have some more of those little red ones. No, not that one. Oh, here. We'll put this one right here. My eyes are tired. Sometimes you get a project in your head and you can't let it go. You just gotta, you gotta keep coming back to it because it's calling you. <laughs> it's like, hello, did you forget about me? No, no dear, I didn't. I am right here to put more flowers on you and decorate you up. There's that. What else is there? Mm, I don't think I want that one. I might put some of those on the front of the fence. Definitely needed to be more of these. I think there was only a couple of them. Oh, here we go. Here they are. And we'll put that one right there, I guess. Or maybe we want this taller one. Let's put the tall one over here. Like that. Okay. I got gluey fingers. Hard to glue things down with gluey fingers because they just keep gluing. <laughs> more and more glue sticks to them. Okay, now we're thinking about putting that one over there. Let's see, let's put in our fence and take a peek.
I don't think we'll really be able to put anything behind it. Um, so I think putting the flowers in it, it's not a bad idea. I think that one would be okay. Um, but maybe we would want the flower hanging over the fence. Nope. I think what we'll do... Oh, we do have that. That's pretty. Maybe we'll put that one right there. It's kind of behind the fence post. Let's do. Some of it I'm going to ink because it's in a good spot that I can ink it. It's been weird show day. <laughs> you get satires and stuff like that. Can't remember the name of the one we've wa been watching right now, but oh my gosh. Uh, who thinks these things up? I want that right on that post. Yep, right there. Okay. Now I'm going to ink up the fence a bit. It's an old fence. We haven't painted it in a while. Okay, now I don't want to put it right on the bend there. I'm going to keep it above it. A piece of washi tape stuck. Ouch! Man, I just whacked my hand. That really hurt. Okay. Oh, boy, that did hurt. All right. So I think what we'll do is put some of these bigger flowers just right down here. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. Or maybe like this. Or not. I don't know. There's something about those flowers that just feels awkward or something. I 
I think it's, you know, it's so hard to situate things sometimes. Hmm. I don't think so. I really thought I was going to use those, but I don't think so. Um, we have red there. Red, 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 red. Oh, too much red. So. Um... We could put a couple of chickens down here in in stamps. Would that be too much red? Ooh, I guess it does make your eye go this way to that way, doesn't it? Well, I want the chickens on this page, so here they go. Fresh eggs, it says. Two cents to mail these chickens away to you. I always thought it was so cool when I, I learned that um, they sent chickens through the mail. Baby chicks. Little pigeons. Um, you know, pheasants. Really surprised me. I'm going to just put this one down here like that. watering can or something in this picture. That one's too big. No. Okay, the other thing I thought about doing was taking this basket and slicing it and then these hearts. We have some more hearts. So let's cut our basket open so that we can put some things in it. Okay. And then I thought we could just glue some of our hearts in. Ooh, that needs to be cut just a little bit further. I didn't think I had it far enough, but you just never know. Okay. There we go. Just a little bit of stuff. Oh, I don't want to go on that side. I want it on this side. So there's one. Some of these are black. Could flip them over. I don't really want a black heart. But black it is. A little bit right there. And we have this nice big red heart. Like that. Just like that one. Wonder if we have any more. I'll have to look. I guess three is good.
and um, maybe we can put a tiny little rose in there. Does it now the black one doesn't look so bad there not bad huh cute and one more thing um I do have a little yellow ribbon we could put on it. Nothing says we have to put it right up there, but I feel like I should put it there. Throw it out. Here we go. We're going to put this right down here. See that okay? Should have gone around that basket with brown. Um, I feel like we need to highlight it a little bit with something. But I just don't know. Maybe just with a little bit of color. mark right there, didn't I? We'll make it into kind of a yellow basket, won't we? That looks better. That makes it more wickery like, doesn't it? Oops. There goes my pen. It's falling out of the little cupboard up there. Oh, isn't that adorable? Okay, let's take those off. Let's see how much we've damaged our window. Oh my goodness. I gotta clean this off. Okay. Now, 
did we do with this? So, perhaps we want a bigger butterfly on here. wonder if we have... Oh, there's a pretty white one. Look at that. That's just so outstanding. That's a pretty one, too. Wow, look at that. I mean, that's like the albino butterfly is in the garden. Or could have geese. No, we already have geese. Let's put the butterfly in. I don't even want to ink him up, really. I'll be very careful. Shh, so I don't do too hard. Very, very quiet. The little butterfly is in the garden. We better not put it in there right now. But I do kind of want it in there so I can close up the window. I need to... I need to put, get a clean rag in here. That's what I need. Okay, this has a little bit of water on it. that up a little bit. Okay. This has got to go in this way. Okay. And We wrap this around a couple of times. Slice it off. And I think we will put maybe a flower on it. Hmm, that won't work, will it? Nope. We need two things that are the same size. And we are 46 minutes in, my friends. But we need two things the same size. There must be, oh, there's a tool. There's a circle. But there's only one circle. There's two bows, but they all go the different direction. So that will not work. Well, um, no. Well, we'll have to come back to that idea. B, B, B. We're going to come back to that idea. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it right now. So what does this page do? It holds one envelope. I guess it's just decorative. We'll find something to set in there though. A nice big journaling card. Um, I think that's what we'll put in there is a journaling card. 
So, um, like maybe this, because this would come up and it would be the same. We also have the big front page chicken, but we might need some of that. Yeah. I think probably this is what we'll do, is we'll put this in here as a journaling card. Because we don't really have to back these, and we know that it matches. So it gives this pocket something to do, and of course this will be shorter than that, so that it will adhere here. I think maybe we'll just tie a butterfly or something on here. Why not? Okay, well, oh look, there was the other heart. I knew there was another one somewhere. That's four hearts in there. We'll save this one for somewhere else. Okay, well, <coughs> I think we are done for today. I needed to come back and finish this up because it was frustrating not having it done and not knowing what, what was gonna happen with it. So, there we go. And that is just so weird there, the way that it took that shape and stayed there. That's just weird. Okay, so we have a document file. And we have a little tuck spot here. And we have an envelope here that will need some tags. And we have another one here. Over here we'll have a journaling card. And our um, journal will be fitting right in there. Oh boy, we're losing space, you guys. But we're putting a journal in there. We could actually put a little journal here and a little journal here and a little journal back here, too. So at the beginning, we have this and this pocket. And this flips open, we have those, and we've decorated there, but not here. And we have a big journaling pocket there. And then in here we have a little journal here. And then we pull these out. And we have a pretty little bit here with a little pocket. Stuff those back in, wrap this around. Whoops, if you if I could see through my gluey fingers, it would be easier. So that is all held down now with this. Then we have these journaling pages. We have a nice big pocket here and here. And like I said, we can put um, another pocket over here or over here. You know, over here, it's either journaling or a pocket. You know, I left them kind of a blank side so that they could be places to journal. Um, but we do have room still that we could put a very small signature in here. So we might do that. Now, for some reason, this is getting out of shape. And we can't put a solid back on it because it will prevent it from opening. So, it's kind of a bizarre thing, isn't it? You know, we may not put the matchbook on the back back here. Um, it's getting kind of heavy for the paper and stuff that's on it. Um, it already does a lot. It just needs a journal and a back page. I would like to put the matchbook on it, but I think I think that 
all this fabric tape on this envelope made it so heavy that um, I just think that we better stop while it while the going is still good and we could get a journal in here and a small one over here I think I have some more of that yellow paper that kind of an onion skin um, yes I do let's see I don't have a lot of it let's see it's a real thin typewriter paper or something but look at that that'd make a nice little journal right there plus in here you have a yellow yellow journaling pages that would be perfect there um, but I don't have that that I could do that here um, and I did not put anything on that so it's on the back the washi tape Okay, well, just be aware, we may not do the matchbook. We may just cover this next uh, visit. And this is catching up on something. What is it? Oh, these two pockets are catching on each other. This is catching right on here. So once the signature is in, that won't happen. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, I am going to let you go, and when we come back, um, I may go ahead and put the back paper on, and it will be time to decorate up the inside and sew in our signatures. So it's probably two or three more videos. Anyway, thank you for joining me today and for helping me along with this project. It's been quite a bit of fun. I love to do file folders because there's so many things you can do with them. Okay, I will talk to you tomorrow. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And please leave a comment and tell me, tell me all the good stuff. Okay, it doesn't even have to be about the journal. Just give me the good news. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.